This video will demonstrate the two ways in which you can apply trust and operating retainer funds to an outstanding invoice within Carrot Legal. To begin, click the accounting icon on the bottom left corner of your browser. This will bring you to the Invoices and Payments tab. On the right side within the green banner, you will see the plus icon. Clicking this will expand out a pop out menu which has a dedicated column for trust transactions. Within that column, you will see the two ways for which you can apply funds. In this video, we will explore both. The quick add button on the far right corner of your browser will also include a dedicated column for trust retainer transactions. Here, those two same options for applying funds will repeat. Clicking the first option, you'll get a pop-up window which will ask you for details to make the application. This will be specific to a matter. The first field is a date field. This will default to the present day. However, you can type in or use the calendar icon to pick another date. Next, you'll go ahead and search to the matter for which you would like to apply funds. The right of that, you will see the bank account selection. This will include both trust and operating accounts. In this example, we only have funds available in the operating account. And you will see that the transfer to field, while still present, is grayed out. Beneath that, you will see a green banner including totals for monies applied and the total funds available. This will update based on my selection of invoices. Below, I'll check off the boxes next to each of my invoices, and the system will try to auto allocate available funds. I do have the option in the amount to apply column to make an other election of how much money should be applied to that specific invoice. When done with my selection, I'll go ahead and say apply funds on the bottom right corner. This will update my invoices automatically to reflect the most recent payment and most current balance. Another way for which you can apply trust and operating retainers is in a batch fashion. Selecting this option will bring up a pop-up window where you can make your election of where the money should come from and how they should be applied. It should be noted that if you have funds in both trust and operating, you will need to run this process twice, once for trust and once for operating. If set to trust, you'll go ahead and select the from account as one of the, uh, one of the trust accounts. Then select the transfer to account being your operating account. The apply date will default to today, but once again, you can override this date with text or use the calendar icon to pick another date. On the far right, you'll have additional fields and criteria to provide to the workflow. By default, it will try to include all invoices. Clicking into this field will allow you to use preset date ranges or a custom date range. Beneath that, you'll have the opportunity to elect specific practice areas, specific attorneys, and the order in which the money should apply to an invoice, oldest invoice first or newest invoice first. If you don't use any other criteria in this right area, the default will be show all or include all in the case of responsible attorney. You'll then say apply and close. As noted here on the bottom left, upon hitting Apply and Close, the system will run this process in the background. You will receive a confirmation email with the details of this application once the funds have all been applied. Now, let's head over to the operating equivalent. In switching from Trust to Operating, you'll see one less selection. The Apply From account will look specifically for one of the operating accounts. As this is considered a destination account, the money will already be located in the operating account. However, the benefit will transfer from the client and their matters over to the firm as it's applied to the invoices. 
The apply date once again will default to the present day, but can be adjusted. On the right side, you'll have your date ranges, practice area field, responsible attorney field, and method for which the money should apply to an invoice. Again, oldest invoice first or newest invoice first. I'll then say apply and close and the process will run in the background. Upon completing this application, you will be brought back to the Invoice and Payments tab. Shortly thereafter, you will receive the confirmation email, but while looking at the Invoice and Payments tab, you may see updates occur in the Balance column, comparable to the Total column. Once the process concludes, you can see those transfer applications in the Banks and Registers tab. When looking at the Trust account, you'll see money transfer from trust to operating. When looking at the operating account, you will see the reverse. You'll see the transfer in from the trust account. If the need ever existed, you can use the Banks and Registers section to manage these payments. This has been a demonstration of how to use the two application methods to apply monies from trust or operating to outstanding invoices within Carrot Legal.